Hey everyone, you're back at Comic Book Corner, and you're with me. That's right, Spider Slayer. Get ready to do a comic book review, and the latest one that we have for you is... You got it, folks. The long-anticipated issue number 682, The Amazing Spider-Man, Ends of the Earth. Done by Dan, uh, Dan Slott, and the art is done by Stefano Caselli. That's right. I mean, you can't go wrong with Slott's writing in the Amazing Spider-Man book, and it has been top-notch. I cannot wait to get into this bad boy. I mean, this issue was just the start. It's like the seeds being planted. Um, but it's just the beginning, and God, I can't wait. Um, but this is the cover right here. Um, here is the variant cover. You can see, like, Dr. Octopus is basically not looking too good these days. Um, he's on his last legs. He's dying. This is supposedly his last plan. Um, this is obviously what he looks like right here. Um, I mean, he's just some, he's already like decaying and falling apart and it's just his brain that's basically alive at this point. I mean, he's enclosed by some robotic creature that Electro and uh, Mysterio have, you know, put together for him. And then here's inside the book a page so you can see real close of what the art's looking like and you can see, you know, Octopus's face, and you can see some of the other characters of the Sinister Six, like Electro, Mysterio, and Rhino. Um, but this book has been this book was really, really good. Um, it's just the start, and what's good is right here in the opening page is that not only you know how in every Amazing Spider-Man book you learn about Peter Parker and how he became Spider-Man. Well, right here, right above Dr. Octopus, you get to see how Dr. Octopus became Dr. Octopus. So you get this little description of him. Um, but this issue was cool. It kind of like, Spider-Man's really got all these like cool new inventions and stuff like that, you know, that he's developing at Horizon Labs and he's just going on about how his life has been really flipped outside and how he's been really helping people. And in the beginning of this issue, you see Spider-Man, you know, battling Equinox, which is, he's like Johnny Storm and Iceman combined. And he has, well, what do you see here? Spider bombs, man. It's like Green Goblin action. And right here, he's got this pouch, like Hobgoblin or Green Goblin, and he's got a spider glider. That's freaking awesome, dude, Spider Glider. And he throws these bombs, and he just puts out Equinox and flames them out. Um, you know, in the process, he kind of hurt somebody with his little bomb there. He wanted to slice off someone's foot. But overall, Spider-Man is doing a lot of good for people. And that's a really, you know, he feels good about himself. Peter, for once, feels good about himself. He says, oh, if Uncle Ben can only see me right now, he'd be so proud. And um, just as, you know, he's getting ready to do some projects and work on some things, the group at Horizons come and run in. And little do we see is that, you know, Jay Jonah, of course, being the asshole that he always is, is that he wants to shut Horizon down because of all these things that have gone on. For the most case... He saved the world a few times, you know, but he wants him shut down because he almost killed his son. And then the whole thing was uh, um, Saga, uh, Spider Saga Island and, 
you know, and all that other Spider Island stuff and all this other stuff and um, uh, and his mayor is Hector Baez. Isn't that the or his uh, attorney, Monel's attorney is Hector Baez. Isn't that guy the the guy from the uh, Casey Anthony case? Isn't that wasn't that his name Baez also? So they're like kind of using the lawyer's name in there. Like, did he have to pay or something to be in the comic? If that's his name was right, Baez. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know how I can forget every day. I've seen that thing on the news every single day since I live in Orlando. Um, so what literally we see is that as time goes on, you know, they're discussing it and, and Jonah's sitting there going, well, we, we'll be back. So as everything is in place, we see we go back down to the secret headquarters of the Sinister Six and the plan is in place and, and uh, the group is saying, are you dying on us, Doc Ock? And he's like, not today, but the plan is in place. And he's naming all the teams that's out. He's like the Defenders, the X-Men, they're all occupied, they're all off of Earth. And then they go, well, what about the Avengers? And he says, the Avengers are no, you know, that has been encountered in my plan. So the Avengers are obviously involved in this whole thing. And basically what the plan is, is he's releasing, he's, he's causing this global warming effect on the Earth. That's his plan. And he, he did a little sample of it to the whole planet. And he's saying, this is what will happen to your earth for your great, great grandchildren. And he's coming up with this master scheme, telling the world he can solve it. He's saying that he is dying, but he wants to go out with dignity and he can solve global warming. And, you know, obviously there's this plan in place because as you can see here, the whole group is sitting there smiling at each other, laughing, big look, grins on their face and all kinds of stuff. And then... You know, Peter obviously realizes it. He's like, well, how can they believe him? You know, he's a bad guy. And people are all talking about it, and they, they believe Doc Ock. So Peter's like, all right, I've been getting this all in place. I've been getting gadgets ready for all these guys. And he's taking out equipment out of his, you know, secret think tank. And he runs into his boss. And he says, so that's stuff for Spider-Man, huh? And the next thing we notice is like, yes, I'll be honest with you, it's with Spider-Man. I won't let you down. And little do we see here is he's getting all the stuff out for each box. Rhino, Sandman, you know, who else is in there? You know, and he's putting on gear. And little do we know is we all know this, that he's getting a new Spider-Man suit at this time. It's been spoiled a long time ago. But we see here that... The Avengers are at the table talking about what Dr. Octopus is doing. And uh, they're saying that, you know, they're having this big discussion. And while this discussion is going on, we see eyes. And those eyes from behind is Spider-Man. And the first thing he says is, Avengers, assemble! And we witness the new Spider-Man suit. For the first time. That is right. And it's a pretty badass suit. Um, it looks like it's made out of a combination of rubber. To kind of protect him from electro. Kind of like uh, metal to protect him from being crushed from Dr. Octopus. So there, I'm sure there's all kinds of things on here. Devices and things to protect from all these Sinister Six characters. So this will be very, very interesting to see what happens um, in the Amazing Spider-Man uh, issues to come. Uh, this was a good, good story. It's, it's kind of interesting to see like how bad this plan actually becomes. Like, what is Doctor Octopus's true intentions on the Earth, and how many, you know, and how many um, characters, or how the Avengers are involved in this whole thing. Uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's just going to be an exciting series to come. And uh, and that's it. And the next thing that's coming up is uh, this right here. Ultimate Spider-Man coming up on Disney XD on April 1st. I'll be tuning into that, and so will my 5-year-old son as well. But that's my review for this. I give it a, uh, probably 5 out of 5. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, got me on the edge of my seat. The artwork was just phenomenal. 
and everything about it was really really good and I've been anticipating this story for a long time I think it's gonna be better than the Spider Island saga to tell you the truth so but that's it for me and so I've done quite a bit of stuff today I've been busy on YouTube so I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I put on here so this is Spider Slayer signing off and until the next review guys thanks for watching Comic Book Corner and subscribe today bye